So there are several main points I want to make. First is to observe and confirm the rise of Asian university. Uh, the Asian university has been really coming up dramatically over the last even decade. The economies in Asia have been rising rapidly, okay? And this, uh, in the history, uh, Asia, a thousand years ago or 500 years ago has always been like this. And then Europe became high and then America, and then now sort of Asia is coming back up and you see that. The second thing is population growth. Asia has a huge population. Many of those are young, so they would come up and demand you know, education uh, and so on. And because of the economic growth, that uh, many of the government uh, are willing and able to spend resources to support higher education, okay? And, uh, and second is they realize that uh, funding research is important for future economic growth. Success, you know, how, how did that happen? Uh, there are many reasons. One is you need talent. You need people. So where do the talent come from? I think the Asian model has been, let's recruit from the best around the world. And uh, this is also changing. So in a way, there's a bit of a reverse brain drain that is either happening now or may, may happen more in the future. China is a very good example. Uh, salaries and job opportunities are increasing rapidly. So whereas 10 years ago, most Chinese students, let's say in America, would stay, now many more of them are trying to go back just because of jobs. It's a looking ahead as to what will happen in the future. Uh, so one is, as Asian universities start coming up and becoming stronger, uh, is the model sustainable? In other words, if the model is where the rising economy will support this university, at some point, uh, you need to reverse it. The idea is that university will support the economy. So that's a big unknown, we don't know. Second is, when the, you have the population and student uh, growth, do we just build more university, or do we need to build a new kind of university? I think that's also uh, very important. Third, uh, what's the goal? You know, the Asian university, can they, have they, will they contribute to solving big problems around the world? Uh, many of these are technical, but some of these are social, cultural. So can they rise up to the challenge? And I think in, uh, the last thing is the most difficult. Uh, you know, Asian universities have a reputation of preparing students well for careers. But there's also a realization of you need to educate students more broadly, sort of a more liberal uh, sort of arts uh, education. Are Asian universities able to do that? Or would they evolve a new model that other universities can imitate? I think those are some of the issues that nobody has a crystal ball. But in the near future, that's going to be some of the key issues. I'm really, really interesting and that's such a global perspective too from Tony. So please join me in thanking Tony Chan. Thank you very much. Thank you.